Welcome to your wonderful weekend of Family Feud. How you doing at home? I'm Lucky McCoy. Thanks so much for coming here to the Feud. Guess what? We've got two families ready to play. Here's the first family who are hoping to take home all the cash. A big hand now for the Cat Crazy Coopers. Our two families will compete head to head, trying to guess how the American population have answered our surveys. The family who does the best goes on to play fast money and has the chance to win $20,000. Now that we're all here, how about we play some Family Feud? Let's get things rolling. It's time for the face-off. Someone from each family, get up here and play.
The top five answers are on the board. Buzz in first to get a shot at answering our survey. If you can find the top answer, you'll choose if your family plays or passes the round. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. Name something specific that you find underneath the seat in front of you at the cinema. Go for it! Said with confidence. Is it up there? Show me. Rubbish. You found the number one answer. You can play or pass and force the other family to play. You gotta play after a great answer like that. Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Got it. Show me that answer. Money. You hear that noise? That's a strike. Oops. Have you got something for us? Okay, do we have it? Food. Oh no, you struck out again. Name something specific that you find underneath the seat in front of you at the cinema. Interesting answer. Is it up there? Clothes. That's three strikes and you're out. This round is getting thrown over to the other side. Now the other family only need to find one answer and they can take this round. If your answer is on that board, you'll steal that money in the bank. That's what you're going with? Time to check the board. Gum. That's it. Our winning family. Let's see what you missed. Time for five. Peanuts. This is the fourth answer. Sweets. What was the third answer? Popcorn. So, where are everybody's scores at? That's only the first round. Let's keep moving. Time to go head to head. It's the face off. I need one person from each family to join me up front. We want three answers this time. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. We asked 100 people this question. Name something that ends with the word nail. You're first on the buzzer. Okay, then. Let's check the board. False nail. Oh, too bad. The top answer is still up there. Think you've got it?
Understood. Our survey said, trouble. <laughs> Nothing for that one. Uh... Think you can do better? Give me what you got. Yeah. Yes. Let's see if it's there. Fingernail. That, my friend, is the top answer. Time to decide, play or pass. Looks like they're hoping to steal the points again. There's only two answers left on the board. A pass. Interesting choice. Uh -oh. Two answers remain. Yeah. Two oh, strikes. No. Our other family need to get ready to steal. Oh. Name something that ends with the word nail. Oh. Your mind drew a blank this time, huh? We're throwing out a lifeline to the other family. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. If it's up there, you steal the points. If not, they go to the other family. We have an answer. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Hangnail. You've cracked it! You've done it again! We've got one answer left to reveal. I want to see number two. Toenail. Here's how things are shaping up so far. One of our families is still yet to score. It's time for the face-off. Who wants to play? Get over here. We've got seven answers this time. Whoa, things are getting hot in here because the points in this round are doubled. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name something that can often be described as sharp. You're up first. Yes. All right. Is it there? Glass. <laughs> Nobody said that one. We can do better than that, right? Name something that can often be described as sharp. I see where you're going with this. Could it be there? Ben. Oh, it's not there. The number one answer is still up there. Name something that can often be described as sharp. Are you sure about that? Did our survey agree? 
Nail. <laughs> Sorry, but no. Oh. We still have the number one answer up there, just waiting to be found. Name something that can often be described as sharp. Here we go, then. Let's see if that's a good answer. Razor blade. We found an answer. The decision is yours. Will you play or pass? And they keep passing. I'm beginning to think those folks don't enjoy my sparkling personality. What do you have for us? Oh. That's good. Let's see if you're right. It's not on the board, so you've earned your first strike of this round. Aww. All right, let's hear it. Um. Yeah, yeah. That's a good answer. All righty then. And our survey says, rock. <laughs> Another ah. strike. <laughs> Name something that can often be described as sharp. <laughs> nice. Do we have a right answer? Plastic. <laughs> Dang, that's three strikes. Sorry, folks. Looks like the other family has a chance to steal. All we need is one answer, and this family can steal the round. OK, if the answer is there, you'll steal the points. If not, they go to the other side of the stage. That's what you think, huh? Time to find out if it's up there. Wit. That's what we want. It's another win. Looks like we missed a few answers. Let's see what they were. Come on, seven. Scissors. What's the fifth answer? Pencil. Let's see number four. Axe. The number two answer is... Dresser. What was the top answer? Knife. How are our families doing? Let's see. One family may be zero for three but I can feel a big turnaround coming just around the bend. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. Can I have a person from each team join me over here? There are four answers you need to find. Now the points are worth triple, so this game is still up for grabs. In our survey, we asked 100 people, give me a word that rhymes with bubble. You're up first, what do you got? Yeah, yeah, that's a good, answer. good, okay. Did any of our 100 people say it? Trouble. Bingo! That's the number one answer. Is it your time to play or pass? 
They really had you on the ropes last time. Now it's time to start swinging. Give me an answer. Oh. Okie dokie. Did our survey say it? Double. That's a good one. Nice work. Oh. It's your turn to guess. And what did our survey say? Strike one, two more and you're out. Give me a word that rhymes with bubble. Uh -huh. Okay, is that one of the ones we're still looking for? Oh, it's another strike. Got a guess ready? Because I'm gonna need one. Feeling lucky? Let's see what the survey says. Oh no, strike three. The other family gets a chance to steal. If they can find just one answer, this family will steal the board. If this answer is up there, you take the points for this round. Okay, sure. Let's see it. Cuddle. That's not what we're looking for. This family have bagged the win. It's time to take a look at what we didn't find. How about number four? Rubble. Answer number two, where are you? Stubble. What are those scores doing? It looks like we're gonna have to play one more round. The winning team needs to hit 300 points. It's time to decide this game. Let's play Sudden Death. I need two players down in front. We're only looking for the top answer. Ready those feuding fingers? All you need to do is buzz in first and give me the top answer to win this round. We asked 100 people the following. Tell me something you might boil before you eat it. You got in first. Bring it. 
All right, let's try it. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Pasta. Not in this survey. It's your go. What do you think? Tell me something you might boil before you eat it. Sure thing. What did our survey say? Rice. No. You got anything for us? Tell me something you might boil before you eat it. It's worth a shot. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Potatoes. That's incorrect. I bet you've got a great answer for us. Tell me something you might boil before you eat it. Got it. Our survey said eggs. It's on the board. You've won sudden death. Congratulations to the Coopers. It's been a pleasure. You played like champs, but unfortunately, we have to lose someone. You missed out on fast money this time. You may have missed a shot at the jackpot, but you've still got some points from the previous rounds that we can turn into a nice stash of cash. time, folks, on The Fuse. Good night. Come on, you're not going to leave it like that, are you? How about a rematch? This battle ain't over, folks. It's rematch time. Afternoons are always better with some family feud. I'm not going anywhere. Lucky is here to stay. Let's reintroduce our families. They got second place last time. Now, they're back with their eyes on first. Hoping for another win, I bet. You know what's going on here. You're trying to find the most popular answer to our surveys. All right, feuders, let's play. Get your game faces on, because it's time for the face-off. Who's going to join me up here? I need someone from each family. We have four to find on this one. When you have an answer to our survey, buzz in as fast as you can. Whoever finds the top answer first gets to decide if they want to play or pass. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name something specific that you've lost more than once. You're up! Yep. Did anyone in the survey say this? Keys. We're on top. So what do you say? Pass or play? And they're playing again. It's up to you now. So... Answer accepted. Is it on the board? Wallet. Well done. Oh. 
What do you think? That's your answer. Is it up there? Let's hope so. You failed to find an answer, which means you get your first strike of the round. Oh, no. uh, Got an answer for me? Maybe. Said with confidence. Is that one of the remaining answers? Car. Uh oh, two strikes. Our other family better get ready. Oof. Just two answers left to find. Uh huh. Got it. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Shoes. And that's your third strike. We could be about to witness a steal. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. You've got a shot here. Oh, okay. Survey said... Glasses. No steal. The points go to this family. Let's tidy up those pesky missing answers. It's time to reveal the fourth answer. Wait. Number three. Jewelry. It's time to check out the current scores. We've still got plenty of game to go. Now let's do the face off. I need two people up front. Top four answers up on the board. Get those buzzer fingers ready. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Give me a word that rhymes with louse. Think you got something? Interesting answer. Let's take a look. Mouse. That's at the tippy top of the board. Play or pass? It's a good start. Let's see if your family can sweep up the rest. I'm gonna need your guess. That's what you're going with? Our survey says... Nouse! If it's not on the board, you get a strike. Uh... Time for your guess. Okay, then. Let's see if the board's got it. House. All right. Yes. We've got two answers left on the board. Understood. Survey says... Blouse. Look at that beautiful board. Almost full. Give me a word that rhymes with louse. Yes. And is that the answer we need? Scouse. 
Ouch! That's your second strike. Go! If you get this, the money in the bank is yours. If not, the other family might steal it. We have an answer. I want to see that answer. Spouse, you found all the answers. You win, so the points go over here. Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. We've got ourselves a new leader. It's time for another face-off. I need a contestant from each family, please. We've got five answers up for grabs. Time to raise the stakes. We're doubling the points. We asked 100 people. Name a possession some people would like to be buried with. You're in first. What you got? Great answer. All right. Let's see if it's up there. Photos. We've got a right answer, but it's not at the top. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. Name a possession some people would like to be buried with. I see where you're going with this. Our survey says, wedding dress. That's not what we're looking for. Decision time, will you play or pass? Rejoin your family and let's get started. You're up. What you got for me? Uh. Yeah, yeah. That's a good answer. Are you sure about that? Let's run with it. Jewelry. And you can't do better than that. Top answer. Moving along the feud chain. Here we go, then. The survey says, memories. Oops. Nope, not up there. So here's your first strike. Uh -oh. Name a possession some people would like to be buried with. That's good. Show me the answer. That's another strike. Look, we've got two strikes. We've got to be careful. then. Is that answer good enough? And that's three strikes. Oh, oh our other family has a chance to steal. All they've got to do is find one answer on the board and they can steal the round. 
Give me an answer. And if you're right, you get all the points. Give me a wrong one and, uh, well, you know. Nice. nice. Is it up there? Show me. Bible. You know the score. Yeah. Way to stretch out that lead. What were our leftover answers? Number four. Car. The second most popular answer is... Money. Show me those scores. That lead's looking solid now. It's time for a face-off. Let's get someone from each family down in front. <laughs> Top six answers on the board. The stakes are getting higher because we're now tripling the points. We took a survey, 100 people, apart from a song. Name something that can be considered a hit. You're first. What's your answer? That's what you think, huh? Show me that answer. Movie. Number one. Pass or play? Looks like you're going for a clean sweep. Keep it up. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Good. Okay. Do we have it? TV show. Nice one. Ooh. I'm gonna need a guess from you. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Is it up there? Uh-oh, it's not there. And that means you've got yourself a strike. Hey there, looks like it's your turn. Um... Yes, yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Time to check the board. Recipe. <laughs> Other family, oh, oh. I'd be getting ready if I were you. Uh. Apart from a song, name something that can be considered a hit. Okay, let's check the board. Radio. That's three. Oh, now it's the other family's turn to take a crack at it. We just need one answer, and if it's on the board, the round is yours. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. Feeling lucky? Our survey said, stage show. You've done it. They're going for the grand slam over here. Let's see those missing answers. Here's what you missed under number six. Sport. The fifth most popular answer was Book. 
Want to see number three? Sounds like me and divorce court. Uh... Dance. Okay, let's see those final scores. You're our big winner. Let's give a big hand to the Coopers for their big win. You folks were a lot of fun, and I hope you had a great time. Eh, you won't be playing fast money today. But no one who gets this far goes empty-handed. Let's see how much you'll be putting in the bank today. Folks, we'll see you next time for more beauty. Take care of yourself. Good night. Want to give it another go? It's on like King Kong. Rematch time. Let's go again. Welcome back to Family Feud. It's me, Lucky McCoy, and I can't wait to get feuding again. Let's give a big, hey, haven't we met before, to our returning families. They're going to bounce back in this game. And defending their crown. Here's a quick rundown on the rules. I'll ask you a survey question, and you try to guess the most popular answers. Okay, folks, here we go. Let's play another game. Okay, I need someone from each family to join me up front. This time, the top seven answers are on the board. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. We got 100 people to answer the following question. Name something that comes to mind when you hear the word flat. You're in first. Okay, sure. Let's see if it's there. Cat. Oh, swing and a miss. I need an answer. Name something that comes to mind when you hear the word flat. All right, let's try it. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Chest. Looks like you finally struck gold. You're on the board. What's it to be, pass or play? I hope your family can find a top answer. Let's go. Do you have an answer? Sure thing. Is it there? Higher. Answer number one. Oh, yeah. Your guess, buddy. It's worth a shot. Could it be there? Apartment. You know it. Oh, nice. What will you go for? Got it. Did our survey agree? Pancake. Correct answer. Yeah. yeah. Name something that comes to mind when you hear the word flat. Yep. Let's see if that's a good answer. Fall. That's not on the board. 
so you've earned yourself a strike. What's your answer? Uh -huh. Answer accepted. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Bread. Yeah. Good job. Hey. Nice. Get your feuding face on. It's your go. Right. That's your answer. Let's see if you're right. Hair. You're doing great. All right. Yes. Just one answer to go. Uh, yes. Said with confidence. Is that the final answer? Stanley. <laughs> Strike two. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can still do it. Oh, no. There's only one answer remaining. Oh. Nice. Nice. Got it. And our survey says... Feet. You've cleared the board. And we got ourselves a winner. How are those scores looking? Only one round down, there's still everything to play for. Are you ready for another face-off? Who's playing this time? Get yourselves over here. The top six answers to this question are up on the board. All righty then. Buzz in first to get a shot at the top answer. Let's go. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, Name a country that was established before the United States. You're first. Oh, nice. oh, okay. Do we have a right answer? Greece. Zilch. Okay, forget what just happened. Let's try something else. Interesting answer. Time to find out if it's up there. England. Numero uno. So what are you going to do here? Play or pass? Let's see if the rest of your team can keep things going. And now it's your guess. That's what you're going with? Did any of our 100 people say it? Spain! That's a good one. Yay! Oh, nice. All right, you're up. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good answer. Okay, then. Did our survey say it? Italy. It's not there, which means you get a strike. Aww. So what's your guess going to be? Hum. Great answer. Understood. And what did our survey say? France. You've got the right idea. Nice. Oh, nice. Name a country that was established before uh -huh. the United States. Yeah, yeah. That's a good answer. Yeah. 
Yes. Will that be one of the missing answers? That's your second strike right there. Have you got some feud for thought? We have an answer. Is that answer up there? Turkey. Ooh, that's your third strike, folks. There's an opportunity to steal here. To steal the points, all they've got to do is find one right answer. Dig deep, give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. All right. Let's see what the survey says. Egypt. They couldn't do it. And this round goes to you. What were the answers that passed us by? Can we see six? Ireland. Number five was... Germany. The fourth answer... China. Let's take a look at the current scores. We've got one family pulling ahead. Get ready to go full Nick Cage, because it's time for the face-off. All right, give me two people. We're searching for seven answers. Time to take it to the next level with double points. 100 people, we asked them the following. Name an animal people are said to eat like. You buzzed in first. Yeah, that's a good answer. I see where you're going with this. Let's see it. Pig. Superb. So what's the deal? You gonna play or pass? You want to step up to the plate again? All right, then. Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Um... Are you sure about that? Could it be up there? Let's find out. Horse. Good yeah. going. Oh. Yeah. Have you got something for us? Hmm. Oh, yes. Here we go then. What did our survey say? Cow. Nice oh. job. Yes. That's a good answer. What do you have for us? That's good. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Bird. Yes! Name an animal people are said to eat like. You drink like a fish, but do you eat like one too? Is that one of the ones we've got left? Fish. Sorry, it wasn't up there, so I'm gonna have to give you your first strike. Oh snap. 
All right, let's hear it. Maybe. All righty then. Is that one of the ones we're still looking for? Blizzard. You've got another strike on the board. Give me an answer. Uh... Nice. Is it up there? Let's hope so. Dog, you're still in the game. Ooh. Name an animal people are said to uh. eat like. That's what you think, huh? Our survey said, rabbit. Three strikes. The other team is in with a chance. It takes just one answer to steal and take home the points. You could steal all the points with this answer. Good, okay. Did anyone in the survey say this? Bear. You didn't find what we wanted. Congrats, this round is yours. Let's tidy up the board and show those missing answers. Seven. Monkey. What was hiding behind six? Mouse. All right, let's see where we're at. <laughs> let's get things going with a face off. All right, people, get up here and do your families proud. This time, you've got six answers to find. We're upping the ante again. All questions are now worth triple. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. Name something a seven-year-old takes with them when they run away from home. Go for it. Okie dokie. Is it on the board? Teddy bear. Oh, so sorry, it's not there. Let's see if you can find the top answer. Name something a seven-year-old takes with them when they run away from home. Ah, yes. Survey said, toy. At the top. It's make up your mind time, pass or play. Great, you're going to play. It's your turn to guess. Okay, let's take a look. Pet. Oh, yeah. Nice. Great answer. Got a guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. Oh. Feeling lucky? Our survey says photos. It's not up there. So this is your first strike. Name something a seven-year-old takes with them when they run away from home. Okay, sure. Let's see if the board's got it. Food. 
Nice. Hey. That's a good answer. It's your go. What do you think? Um. Great answer. All right. Let's try it. Survey says money. Oh. Ouch! Oh. Another strike. You got anything for us? Sure thing. I want to see that answer. Suitcase. Nice, Fudin. You've still got a chance. Oh. Yes. Name something a seven-year-old takes with them when they run away from home. It's worth a shot. Let's see if it's up there. Games. Ouch, third strike. Ho oh, ho! My. Like my friend Al Capone used to say, our other family has a chance to steal. If you want to steal this round, you need to find me a missing answer. Here's your chance. You can do it. Got it. Our survey says, blanket. It's a steal. It's a win over here. Well, we only missed one answer. Let's hope it's the funny one. Number four, show yourself. Clothes. Let's take a final look at those scores. We have a winner! You know what happens next. You get to play Fast Money. Sorry, Coopers, but somebody's got to come in second. Think fast, because you're about to play Fast Money. We need two people for Fast Money. Who else is going to play? It's the captain's prerogative to pick a first mate. Who's it going to be? Let's kick this pig and play the feud. I'll ask you five questions. You give me five answers. Try to think of the answers with the highest number of responses. Get more than 200 points, and you'll win the grand prize. Your time starts now. Which of your bills seems to be going up for no reason at all? Name a word that can follow pickup. Name an imaginary character who visits kids in their sleep. Name a fruit that would be almost impossible to stick up your nose. Name something you've accidentally dropped in the toilet. That's everything. We're going to switch over now. I'm not going to lie. Going second is a little tougher. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. Don't duplicate any answers, because if you do, I'll need another one. Your time starts now. 
Which of your bills seems to be going up for no reason at all? Try again. Name a word that can follow pickup. Name an imaginary character who visits kids in their sleep. Name a fruit that would be almost impossible to stick up your nose. Name something you've accidentally dropped in the toilet. We're out of time. Okay, you've done all you can. Let's bring both of our players out here and see how they did. First up, we asked, which of your bills seems to be going up for no reason at all? And here's what you said. You ought to be happy with those answers. A top nice. answer. Our second question was, name a word that can follow pickup. So here's what you said. Survey says, ouch, a zip and a zilch. The top answer, truck. The next question, name an imaginary character who visits kids in their sleep. So you said, let's reveal what these are worth. Nope, Oops. no points for either of those answers. Tooth fairy, that was worth the most points. Here's our next question. We asked 100 people, name a fruit that would be almost impossible to stick up your nose. Here are your answers. These two are looking good. Both of those answers got some points. Melon. That was our top answer. The last question. Name something you've accidentally dropped in the toilet. What were your answers? And our final survey said... Ouch! Oh. That is not enough. So sorry. You didn't do enough to win the top prize this time. Looks like you won't get the $20,000, but you'll still get to go away with something. We're gonna take your score from the whole game and turn it into some money. That concludes the feud. We'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Do you want to play again?